Well, today marks the 10th anniversary of the American Heart Association's Go Red campaign, which is why we're all wearing red and why um, we're talking about knowing your heart healthy numbers today. And I've brought in a special guest from St. Mary's Hospital, the ICU nurse. That's Good morning. probably high stress. I bet your numbers yeah. might be high. Maybe we should check yeah, yours. We should check my numbers. Huh? It's not a Kirk. So thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And it's my pleasure. Tell us, you know, women don't think about probably checking their numbers as much as we should. I think sometimes that we spend too much time worrying about taking care of others and not so much, especially when we have children and, and high stress jobs, um, not worrying about taking care of ourselves as much. So when should we start paying attention right. to our numbers? Well, I think there's a number of factors. One of those factors, um, there are certain risk factors that we have that we can't control, like our age, gender, family history. Mm -hmm. um, and considering maybe your family history is might be a really good gauge as to when you should start checking your numbers. If you have a high uh, percentage of cardiac um, disease in your family and high blood pressure, then the earlier the better for, for women and for anyone to start checking their numbers. I don't think that... Um, mid to late 30s is too soon. Well, if you right. have a family history, maybe a touch sooner. Okay. Well then, why don't we go ahead, if you go ahead and um, take our blood pressure, Certainly. one of ours, and then kind of explain why you're doing it, maybe uh, what the numbers mean, and okay. how we can tell Okay, we can on. actually, I can put you on the automatic cuff. Let's do both of yours. Okay. okay. All right. If this will kick on. Doesn't matter what arm. Um, let's do the one closest to us. Okay. Let's stretch this up. And now, do you have to go into, you know, a clinic or doctor's office or hospital to do this, or you know, can you do this at home? Don't. This is actually a home monitor, which is a great option for people. I don't, I don't say do this instead of going to a doctor, but this is a great daily monitoring system for people with known high blood pressure that need to keep a good eye on their numbers. Um, there are also great resources besides going into a clinic. Uh, many pharmacies, Walgreens, Walmart, things like that have automated blood pressure cuffs. Mm -hmm. And when you're there doing your shopping, just stop. Take a, just a few moments. Mm -hmm. Put your arm in that machine. See what your numbers are. And it's a great fly by way to say, I my as a little child than yeah. I do now. I know. Mom used to always kick me off of it. <laughs> yeah. okay. The children love the, the machines, yeah. don't they? <laughs> and how often should you really, you know, be in tune with Monitor. what your numbers are? You know, if you have a healthy blood pressure and you really have not found any problems with it, your blood pressure 11482, you pass with flying colors, young lady. Yay! Oh, good job. Right. I saw my teachers used to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and we can check this one, and we can check this one manually, which is how they'll do it in the clinic. Um, you know, for people with known high blood pressure um, that are taking a lot of medications, this option is great for a daily check. Um, people who have so-so blood pressures, you know, every week. Or, and certainly for those who have great blood pressures, like yours is, um, every couple months, three to four months is not a bad idea. Things change. Yeah. Especially as your stress level changes and your activity level changes, it's just not a bad idea. I'm a little nervous to see what this one is. Oh, you are a young, healthy girl. Yeah. You will be great. We'll see. If not, we'll edit it out. Yes, That's right. With a job that has no stress yeah, at all involved. No, no stress. At all. None of us, no stress. No. Let's see what the numbers are. Uh, your um, top number, your systolic number, they certainly would like to have 130 or below, ideally under 120. Um, oh, great. Are you nervous? 112 you nervous? over 60. What? You so pass. You're even calmer than me. <laughs> <laughs> you pass with <laughs> flying colors. Good. I can tell my mom everything's That's fine. Right. Everything yeah. is everything's fine. Everything's good, mom. <laughs> great. It is. Um, so blood pressure is a great place to start, and that's one of the first numbers that we look at. It has such uh, an effect on all of our body systems, our heart disease, kidney function, um, and, and it's just one of the best numbers. Diet, exercise, medication if necessary, um, and and follow up with your physician if you have high blood pressure. Okay. I was kind of starting to like that. It went well yeah. with my outfit, <laughs> It does kind of go. It's the black look. <laughs> well, and it's important to say that just because today is the kickoff for Heart Awareness Month and, you know, today is National Go mm -hmm. Red for Women Day, it's important to pay attention to it 365 days a it year. It is. It is something that you should not overlook. Um, along with your cholesterol, um, there's so many things that you can do to make your numbers look good. The first thing is to know your numbers, to know what you need to work on and where you need to start at, and all the things that affect your numbers. So you're looking at blood pressure, cholesterol, stress level, 
Uh, you know, they have those wonderful tests out there that talk about stress level, and you answer your questions and gauge yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you, young or old, we don't always pass that test yeah. very well. Uh, and your weight. Um, and controlling your blood pressure, your diet, your weight can all make your numbers look so much better and just have a wonderful effect on your overall health. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're for welcome. Coming it's in. It's my pleasure and, to be here. And spreading the word about knowing your numbers for the Go Red Day. And um, I guess that's it. Yeah, we hope you know your numbers <laughs> and enjoy today and wear red. <laughs>